YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy, King Zay. Nah, I'm saying King Zay back with another reaction video, man. Today we got a very shocking topic, man. I was scrolling on Insta, bro, and I seen somebody was talking about EDP had came back to the internet and made a TikTok. So I'm on TikTok. I clicked the link, and apparently, bro. This man got a hundred and six. I don't know y'all can see this. This man got a hundred and sixty-one K on TikTok. Yo, who let this man back on the internet? That's what we finna find out. Let's hop straight into the video. It's only been a couple days since I made the video talking about how EDP 445 is trying to make a comeback online with his Instagram account and live streaming on every obscure. They let him back on Instagram too. Imaginable. I swear to God, this guy would start streaming on AIM Instant Messenger if he could. I wouldn't be surprised if he hopped on as a full-time Omegle streamer and just tried to haggle people for money to tell them why the Eagles will win the Super Bowl and also send them pictures of his poop in his toilet. He is finding every possible means of broadcasting himself online in order to try and reclaim his former glory pre-cupcake incident. I'll briefly speed run his lore again. I think most people already know. More people know about the EDP 445 story than everybody Andrew, knows just about in that. Case, he was Everybody. last year in a Chris Hansen style operation mm -hmm. where he was fully caught trying to have sexual relations with someone he believed to be a, chi a child. Yeah. He tried to defend himself by saying, no, 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 look, you got it wrong, you stupid <laughs> assholes. Actually, <laughs> I was just here for a cupcake. <laughs> cupcake. Which yeah, a that whole, that whole cupcake video was started. crazy. But this was just one in many documented cases of EDP having inappropriate conversations with people he believed to be underage so as a result he was banned off pretty much every major platform mm -hmm. and hadn't been seen for about eight months occasionally there were theories and possible sightings of edp 445 out in the online cyberspace wild but it was kind of like pictures of the loch ness monster people didn't really believe it until it was confirmed I heard he was that homeless. he was running an instagram account and trying to live stream again and then just yesterday, or two days ago now, he fully made his return, WWE style, fucking pyrotechnics going off. He's on TikTok, baby, uh -huh. and he is absolutely exploding. It's on crazy. He's got a video with over four point. Like, bro, yeah, I'll check. Now he got 161. I, I saw this. I was like, bro, no way. Then I clicked on the vid, and it was like he was there talking about the Super Bowl. So I'm like, this not nothing from back then. Super Bowl just happened Sunday. He's back on here actually, like recently. Like, yo, this is actually wow. What did it say? Big cheese nips. Bro, oh, wait, wait. Life has a tendency of repeating it, so. What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like so you gonna, bro? Literally just like less than forty eight hours. He's been going viral there. I keep seeing the comment of when the world didn't need him most, he came back, and that's super true. But EDP four four five is like a natural disaster. For as long as cupcakes exist in this dimension, EDP 445 will also exist too. On TikTok, he's getting tons of support from people welcoming him back with open arms and open mm. asses. They couldn't be more excited. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Say it again. What bro just said? Support from people welcoming him back with open, open arms, arms and, and open asses. They couldn't be more excited. <laughs> they're, they're just wishing him the best and super happy that he finally returned to take his crown back, King. And it's really sad, but also not surprising because TikTok has established itself as a platform where child abuse isn't even taken seriously. There's been so many creators on TikTok that have literally been outed for some terrible things, including being predators, including in certain cases sexual abuse, and they still have very popular platforms that are still thriving. That's actually insane. Because TikTok and the TikTok community don't take it seriously. And I think that's mainly I've because noticed most that. of them are children. Only reason, I, only reason I'm on TikTok is so I can build my build my following, build my platform, bro. Once I build the following, bro, TikTok, bro, I don't like how they run stuff over there. Once I build up my, my fan base, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take them over here and we gonna so drunk. We're gonna build our army, no cap. So they're completely naive and they, they don't they don't care like what they EDP don't care did at or all. tried to do as serious as they should. Which is really fucking awful. EDP was outed for some terrible things and all of them regarding his behavior with people he believed were underage so now he's gone to a platform that is primarily consisting of underage terrible. audience terrible. terrible that is a recipe for disaster you have taken a man who would be banned from the majority of elementary schools within like a five mile radius and Parks, now you're letting him the class order. president of that elementary school because it's on tiktok now probably not like the best comparison but what i'm saying is 
he is now very popular on a platform that is mainly consisting of younger audience. I'm sure you can see why that's a bit of a problem. Yeah. Now, EDP, okay. mainly the content he's made on TikTok is Super Bowl related because it had the most virality to it since the Super Bowl is always highly watched and on TikTok highly discussed. Mm -hmm. So his channel grew a lot then. And he also made a video about me, which I'll show you quickly. I had to mute the audio because oh, wait, of the DMCA wait. issues, but you're really not missing much here. Basically, the <laughs> words here pretty much describe what's going on. He's since deleted this TikTok, and I think the reason is because he's done everything he can to avoid ever mentioning the cupcake incident. He treats it yeah. like Voldemort's name. It yeah. just never gets said by him. Anytime it's brought up, the person is banned. Mm -hmm. He just does everything he can to pretend that it doesn't exist. That's my thing. How does he... He's really just... Bro, he just back on every platform. Like, he didn't do that. Like, at least own up to it, bro. Make your apology video. Even though your apology means zero. It means none. None. But my boy, own up to it. Be a man about it, bro. And then see what happens from there. It's probably not much will happen from there. But that's a start. That's a that's a that's Hoping a that he can start. just write out the controversy and people will forget or stop bringing it up. But this is his legacy. This is what he's known for. He is the cupcake guy. Yep. And he knows this, which is why he posted a video trying to be self-aware like, cupcakes, no, I understand what's going on. But that doesn't work with that level of self-awareness when what you're calling attention to is the fact that people know that you tried to have sexual relations with a kid. All right, come on. Like that's, The, the self-awareness isn't like, a, oh, haha, ha, he gets it. Okay, now we can forgive him. No, it's not like when Dorian became self-aware that a lot of the stuff that happens in his videos is goofy and people usually make jokes about it. And he became self-aware and became in on the joke. And that's like, oh... Good for Darman. He has a level of self-awareness. I have more respect for that now. It doesn't work in EDP's case because when he calls attention to the cupcake thing, he's acknowledging that he knows he is a sexual predator mm. and that people know that he is a sexual mm. predator. So the self-awareness mm. doesn't help people have more respect for this you. makes no You're sense. You're still disgusting. And what you <laughs> did is so pretty saying. unforgivable, yeah. which is why no community has been welcoming, welcoming him back onto the platforms except for TikTok. Because it is a platform TikTok that is notorious not for not giving a shit about the safety of the kids on there. And make no mistake, a lot of the user base is kids, but they don't take it seriously there. There's been so many cases of horrible shit happening on TikTok, and the people that were behind it still doing just fine to this day. So I'm not surprised that EDP found TikTok as a place to call home, and he'll probably continue to do well on that platform, which is extremely sad to say. It really is, but it's just the truth of it. There's a good chance that on TikTok, EDP will thrive. And he'll yep. be able to come back to form. And he'll be able to monetize again. And yep. it's the fucking sad reality of it. Because Bruh, it has, be a, like has a track record of not taking things like what EDP did seriously. And you can see it in his comment section. Like I mentioned, there's a lot of people that are writing on EDP's dick right now. Like, yep, this is the good stuff. Finally, EDP's back. Thank you, TikTok. EDP, let's go. EDP for life. You can see it. And it'll probably continue. It so will. obviously, a lot of people, myself included, have a big problem with EDP being back in general. But even more specifically on TikTok, since it's the platform that gives him the most access to kids, which are potential victims to EDP. He has shown multiple times, not just with the apocalyptic cupcake incident, but he has shown prior to that that he will talk to children and engage yes. in very inappropriate behavior and even conversations. With, that's another thing, bro. That wasn't even his first situation. He said, I think they said when he had like seven, eight situations before that. That was just the one situation where they caught up and made a video and all that. He's been doing this. this that was nothing that new. He that. believes to be underage. So now that he's on a platform that's primarily in that demographic. There's obviously a huge conflict here. So yeah, I just wanted to give a whole update on this situation. A lot of people brought this to my attention and definitely thought it was something that needed to be talked about. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's really about it. So yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Hey, man. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about this entire situation, man. No cap. Y'all think he deserved to come back with no apology, no nothing? Just let me know. Y'all think he should come back? Y'all, did y'all miss him? If you missed him, get the fuck off my channel. No cap. Uh, but yeah, man, like this video. You know I'm saying this subscribe to Penguins for bringing awareness. I didn't, I had no idea. I just subbed to him today because I saw them. I recommended so sub up to him. Uh, like this video so we can get this get this info out. You know what I'm saying in the algorithm. You know what I'm saying uh, comment below. All right, say that right. All right, subscribe if you need the channel, man. Join the army, man. Roll the hundred subs, man. And yeah.
Peace.